Hello my friends, William Poloniak here from Whole Health Foundation. I have about 12 citrus trees in my front yard and all of these citrus fruits fell down. They're still good. Some of them cracked open. And what I'm going to do today is make some citrus juice, but I'm going to add a small amount of ginger and a small amount of turmeric. Let me show you my first step. Now the first thing I'm going to do is shred the turmeric and the ginger into a small jar. I'm going to use the near zero blowback cutter and the front loading feed tube. And because I have such a small amount of ginger and turmeric, I'm going to cover this even though it's zero blowback as you can see. Now it's a good idea to have a saucer below the feed tube when you're cleaning the grid or removing the um, feed tube for cleaning to catch anything that drops, any pulp that drops. And I've already cleaned my feed tube but I'm going to put the rest of this pulp that dropped out into the jar and we're going to add this to the citrus later. Now when making citrus juice you do not shred the citrus. What you do is peel it and press it but first I'm going to peel off all of the rind because you never know how clean the rind is. Plus any juice from rind makes it more acidic than you want it to be. So what I'm going to do now is peel all of this fallen fruit and then we'll press it a little bit later and I'll give you a couple of tips on how to use bamboo liners to protect your claws from getting clogged with fiber and so on. It occurred to me to peel it over this other container where we're going to discard all of this rind and once I've finished peeling all of this citrus we'll go to the next step. Well, here's the last of my citrus I've got a combination of tangelos, oranges, tangerines, one lemon, pink grapefruit, ordinary grapefruit. So what I'm going to do now is discard these peelings and then put these into cloths with a bamboo liner along with the turmeric and ginger that I crushed and we're going to make a special blend of citrus with turmeric and ginger. I have claws in my freezer reserved for citrus, for apple, for nut milk, for every different kind of juice and the reason we keep them in the freezer is germs will not grow in the freezer and airborne contaminants cannot get a foothold to grow in the freezer. So the first thing I'll do is unfold my juicing cloth and I'm going to line it with a bamboo liner. Now the reason I use a bamboo liner, and it's 100% organic bamboo, is to prevent the pulp from sticking to the cloth. So the first thing I'll do is put in one large grapefruit and I'm going to press it in the press. And then I'll fold the cloth over the bamboo liner. Now I'm doing one cloth at a time when I do citrus, mostly because this is too thick. I couldn't get two cloths full of citrus in there. So all the way back, back it off a little bit, turn it on. Now you'll notice a nice rich yellow color, that's the turmeric, and the ginger's in there as well. Now as long as you have a steady flow, you can leave this press up as long as you want on a Whole Health Foundation premium model. When it changes the droplets, like now, it's time to put in new fruit. I'm going to put fresh citrus on top of this spent pulp. You notice I do not throw away the pulp. And I'm going to form this into as tight a package as I can. And remember, I have the turmeric and the ginger in this spent pulp. And my theory is that as we press over and over again, 
the old pulp is going to become hydrated and the turmeric and the ginger are going to um, pass more of those nutrients into the juice. Now this cloth is getting very very full. I think next time I'm going to use a new bamboo liner. And as soon as I get juice full I'll advance a little bit more. Very important when you do fruit not to advance the hydraulics too fast. You need traction here, otherwise your cloth is going to slip apart. So we'll advance that all the way. And I want to remind you again, as long as you have a steady flow, you can leave the press up on a Whole Health Foundation Premium model as long as you like. When it turns into droplets, it's time to put in new fruit. And there we're starting to get droplets. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate next using a measuring beaker is how much more juice we can get using a Whole Health Foundation premium model juicer. What I'm going to do next is form this spent pulp into a very, very tight package. So I'll take this pulp, form it into as tight a package as I can, and this is very, very important. And I have a special folding technique when I do this, and that's to fold this under one or two times and this is to minimize slippage. We'll do that in both directions. Fold this under. Turn it upside down and then into the press. Centered left to right. Make sure the tray's on properly. Centered front to back. All the way back. Back it off a little bit. Now on the last pressing on citrus juice, it's more like syrup than juice. Because what you're doing here is you're extracting the very last essence out of the citrus. Now there we have two ounces. Now as long as I have a steady flow, I'm going to leave that up. Now this is my second pressing here. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to use a new bamboo liner for this pulp. And I'm going to take this and form it into as tight a package as I can. And this is the pulp that has the turmeric and the ginger in it. So we'll take the bamboo over the spent pulp and fold it in both directions as tight a package as we can. And again I'm going to use my special folding technique to fold this under two or three times, as many times as I can. And I'll do that in both directions. Boy, there's a lot of pulp in this. Turn that upside down and into the press. Into the press, make sure the tray's on properly. I noticed my tray slipped that last time, so make sure it's on the press properly. The press plate, I should say, is very important. Now centered, front to back, centered, left to right, all the way back, back it off a little bit. a little more than four ounces. It looks like four and a half ounces. Now remember this is the package that has the turmeric and ginger so I'm going to form that into a really tight package and use my special folding technique again. Fold that under two or three times as many times as I can. This is to minimize slippage. And I'll do that in both directions. And let's see if we can get any more juice out of this spent pulp. 
upside down, flatten it a little bit into the press. That's definitely more than 10%. Well, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to stop this. And what I'll do now, to prevent this from dripping on, a counter, on my countertop, I'm going to set it back, but not a little, a lot. Pour this into my container, and next into bottles. Now before I pour this into bottles, I want to show you what a lot of people forget to do, and that's clean the upper plate. You want to clean the upper plate and the side, and if any juice leaked under here, clean under. Now let's go around here one more time. And my last step, of course, is to press out the water in the cloth and put the cloth back in the freezer. Now, back into a plastic bag and into the freezer. Now I'm going to pour this into bottles. I'll do this from the back side so the camera can get a good look. I'm going to fill these right to the top. I believe these are 14 ounce bottles. Looks like four and a half bottles. Well, four and two thirds. I'm going to take some out of this bottle for a taste test. Now we have three and a half bottles. I took some out of here for a taste test, full strength. With this bottle, I'm going to put 50% water in. This is distilled water. I want to compare the difference between full strength and diluted citrus juice. Well, my friends, as you can see, we got three full bottles of full strength juice and one half bottle that I put some water in, so this is 50% water. This is full strength. Let's give it a taste. Oh, delicious. Just the right amount of turmeric and ginger. The last time I made juice with turmeric and ginger, I had a little too much turmeric. It was still palatable, but less turmeric makes for a better tasting juice. Too much turmeric and your juice tastes like medicine. Now it's very important for your juice to be palatable and to taste good. Well, let me taste this again, full strength. Delicious. Now let me taste it 50% with water. I would call this a citrus drink, not a citrus juice. Okay, 50% water. Boy, I like this better. 50% water makes a delicious citrus drink. And I think on a hot summer day, this would be the perfect refreshment. Full strength for me, is too strong. Well my friends, I hope you like what you've seen. If you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthout.com. And remember, if you want to buy a juicer or buy supplies, go to my website or send me an email or give me a phone call. I'll see you in the next video.